Hi, this is Mohit Kamath. Uh, you're watching Smart Badminton channel. So, as per your response, I got an amazing response uh, for uh, whether to do a video or not. So, this is the response. So, I received completely 100%. 100% yes to make a video about Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2022, which is going to be, which is, which is uh, held in Bangkok right now in Thailand. Oh, yeah. So, we have done a history. The Indian men's team is into the semi-finals of the Thomas Cup and beating Malaysia in the quarterfinals. Let's quickly go and deep dive into this quarterfinals. So let's first go into the draw section. So let's uh, see the draw, how the draw was. And you see Indonesia is the top seed. Then we have China and India was the fifth seed in, um, in the knockout stage. India has has uh, scored amazingly 2-1 score in the group matches and uh, they played a really fantastic game. So yesterday uh, we saw that you know India beat Malaysia uh, in 3-2 and Pranoy, HS Pranoy sealed the victory. Let's quickly go into that and now you know the draw. Korea and Denmark, even Denmark played an amazing uh, badminton uh, yesterday and uh, they won and they beat the Koreans. It's fantastic and today we are playing, the semi-finals is played uh, uh, between India and Denmark. So before that, we'll just quickly go into the Malaysian and Indian match which happened yesterday. And let's deep dive into that. So as we see, <coughs> so these are all the uh, Uber Cup things and uh, let's directly go to the Thomas Cup. Indonesia and China, Indonesia sweeped China completely. It's a 3-0 win. Anthony beat Zhao Jungpeng. The first doubles beat Lu Yu and Oak Suan. Jonathan Christie beat Li Xingfeng. And that's it. that's all done. Then Denmark beats Korea. This was an amazing match. I think uh, Victor also won with Hyo King, Hyo Huang He. Amazing names, you know. <laughs> so uh, they beat them. Uh, Victor beat him very close by in the third game, and you have all the results here. Now when we go to India's match. Lee Zizia beat Lakshisen. I think Lakshisen could not find the momentum yesterday. When we go to his match and uh, follow, the score was 21. Uh, uh, the first game was 23-21. I think it could have been anybody's match. And the second game, 21-9. I think uh, Laksh uh, might have not uh, got his rhythm and uh, momentum back. But if you see the head-to-head, uh, you know, Lee Zizia still is in the trailing side and Lakshisen is, uh, you know, leading with 2-1 score. I think we had a wonderful opportunity here. But if you see the ranking history, Laksh actually is in the form right now. So, he was in August 10th last year, 24 ranked. And then he climbed up all the way till here, till the 9th ranking here. And if you see Lee Zizia, he's in the 8th spot from the last uh, 8 months. But he's still in very consistently... Uh, proving his uh, uh, strength there. So, yeah, when we go to the game and match statistics uh, about, sorry, about Lee Zizia, if you see the most consecutive points, like continuous points, which is won by Lee Zizia, is on the higher side, and the rallies played was fantastic, but rallies won. When the rallies has happened, when the rallies won, uh, Lee Zizia. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, Lee Zizia has won more rallies than Lakshya in the yesterday's match. And total points also was won by more uh, by Lee Zizia. So, uh, you saw the ranking list, right? Uh, so, if we go to the next one, Satvik Sairaj and Ranki Reddy, Chirak Shetty, uh, they beat Go Zifei and Noor Izuddin. So, they are the top uh, Malaysian doubles pair currently. So, if we see that, So the score was 21-19 and 21-15 and if you see the head-to-head, -head, um, if you see the head-to-head, -head, our boys Chirag and Satvik leads 6 is to 1 and this itself before the match, it's before the match, we got a confirmation that we have higher chance than the Malaysian doubles pair. And even if you see the ranking history of these players, we have been the top, the top 10 before. And then these players have been underranked. So, which means we had all the, um, you know, all this uh, situation to be on the higher side. That was fantastic. And if you see Kiran Mishrikan beat 
NG Seyong. This has happened the same uh, as well. Um, you know, 21-11 and 21-17. The head-to-head, if you see, it was 2-0. So this again, we had uh, you know the upper momentum because uh, Kiran Bishikant has won with uh, NG Seyong before, and uh, it was fantastic. And then if you see the fourth doubles, uh, I mean, yeah, the fourth doubles, uh, Krishna Prasad and Vishnu Gaud, you know, they played a fantastic game, 21-19 and 21-17. I think they have played really well, uh, really well against these uh, players, Aaron Chia and Theo E. Way, because 21-19 and 17, it could, you could, I mean, it can happen anything beyond 15 points. Uh, if the score is equal, I think there's a higher chance uh, for any of them uh, to uh, completely seal the victory. But if you see the ranking history here, if you see the ranking history, uh, the Malaysians, sorry, the <clears throat> the Indians are on 187, but they are in the consistent uh, factor, 45. Here, if you see the ranking history of Krishna Gauda, um, if I'm not wrong, yeah. Aaron Chia, sorry, Aaron Chia, it's 1072 and they've been into the downward fall. But they played an extremely well yesterday. I think uh, we were unlucky from our side. And the last match, if you see Pranoy and Leong, <clears throat> Lee Yong Jun Hao, the score is 21 13 and, and 21 8. And when we go to head to head, Pranoy, Pranoy has the higher rank, Pranoy is the higher ranked player. But yes, definitely the head-to-head -head is equal. But he played an extremely well game yesterday. When you see the match, when you see the match, it was fantastic, and he completely dominated his opponent, um, Leong Jun Hao. So if you see the rallies played here were 63, but uh, uh, HS Pranoy has won 42 rallies out of 21, and uh, total points won is 42 and 21. So that was a clear victory for us and we were all thrilled to see India uh, beat Malaysia 3-2 in the in this quarterfinals of the Thomas Cup 2022 which is conducted in Thailand right now and we have this amazing semi-finals with Denmark. We might have a great um, opportunity this time because the singles is played by Victor Axelsson. I think he has to play Lakshisen because the rule here is the top Indian ranked player will play against the top Indian ranked player of uh, the other country. So you cannot mix and match. So Victor Axelsson might play against Lakshya Sen. And then we see Kim Astrup, Matthias, Christensen play against uh, uh, Chirag Shetty and uh, 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 Satvik Sairaj. Then we have Anders Antonsen play against uh, uh, Kidambi Srikanth. Then we might see Anders uh, Rasmussen, Frederick Sogard play against our Krishna Pasad. And then lastly, our champion HS Pranoy can play against uh, uh, Rasmus Gmk. So let's go and try and find out what is the head to head and what could be the results. The first singles of the Thai semi finals tie between India and uh, Denmark, we could see Victor Axelsen and Lakshya Sen. Oh, we don't have a photo of Lakshya Singh. So the head-to-head, -head, if you can see, it is uh, five against one. So five times Victor has won, and once uh, Lakshya has beaten Victor Axelsen. That's previously in, uh, you could see that in the German Open here. And he has uh, played a long match, 20-22, 20, uh, 22-20, Lakshya Singh won. But the previous all England Championship, Victor crashed Lakshya Singh. But you never know, these are not us single individualistic game but this is a team uh, a game so anything can happen so even if you see the ranking list Lakshya has been on the upward trend right now so he must be having the psychological confidence and psychological uh, edge between uh, you know playing when when he's playing with Victor and Victor has been consistently in the top one and two ranking and that itself is amazing for him uh, he's in in the right shape and the right form right now but Let's see, I hope uh, Lakshya Sen makes a big difference today. Second singles, if you can see Kidambi Srikanth versus Sandor, Anders Antonsen. You know, the head-to-head -head is uh, two against favor of uh, Srikanth and three against favor of Antonsen. 
uh based on this the ranking itself shows that uh, you know uh, antonson is number 3 in the world and kidambi is uh, number 11 in the world if you see uh, antonson is pretty uh, uh you know consistently he is in the top 3 for the last 8 um, months and kidambi has had some ups and downs but that doesn't matter much but the recent match which has happened uh, if you see um, you know kidambi srikanth has won uh, in a swiss open in a very long three games battle which is third game 22 and 20 this uh, <clears throat> uh, this itself you know has uh, for shrikanth it might be an uh, additional factor mentally that he could uh, beat anderson but that's very tricky this time and about the men's doubles the first men's doubles between chirag shetty satvik sairaj versus kim astrup and mathias christiansen so if you see this uh, there is no head to head record here it's completely zero and uh, it's an exciting doubles to see but based on the recent performance i think we have the upper hand satvik and uh, chirag has been uh, into an amazing form let's hope for the best and lastly the head to head between uh, pranay hs and rasmus gemke could be an interesting one because uh, rasmus Gem- gemke is the highest ranking player in between the two where you can see uh, pranay is 23 uh, of the world from india and head to head record rasmus clearly has 1 point above the indian but the interesting fact here is the recent last year when we had this uh, bwf world championships in 2021 pranay beat rasmus gemke in a, in a grueling three games match 22 20 is the third game score so clearly if you see from the psychological perspective last time pranay has taken up uh, rasmus gemke for a ride and uh, we have a clear chances uh, or how how do you put it across we have a clear clear chance to you know uh, come into the finals and create a history for indian badminton let's hope for the best and you know uh, let's cheer for india go india chak de india bharat mata ki jai see you soon even on the head to head between uh, krishna prasad garga and vishnu vardhan gaud uh, against the second doubles players of uh, denmark frederick sogard anders karup rasmussen there is no head to head information here this is also this is also an interesting match to be uh, looking forward for all of us and i hope that indians will uh, you know uh, make the most at the right time